he kind of, he's that type, he's, he's a busybody. And I say, you know what, you're a bunch of slobs, you're this, you're that, you really, it's unbelievable. Here you are, I, I eat better than you, I'm not looking, you know, I'm not fighting anyone for a title, but I go in the icebox and I find, you know, sugar pops and half a gallon of ice cream. I said, they're kids. It's like, it's like my kids at home. And he said, you know what? We have the right to do whatever we want. We're men, we're this and that. So we literally had a, kind of like a full on battle over this, their right to eat junk. These are really tough guys, but they really went to him for advice. You know, a lot of them got lonely. Some of them were married, had girlfriends, you know, they had, uh, you know, just they'd never been away from home. So, I mean, I've got to give it to my father. He's always been honest with me, you know what I mean? About what he does, what he's, what he's been through. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and stuff like that. And it, it's, it's not always... Did he tell you to be suspicious? Sure. Well, that's sure. important. Sure. He really felt for them, and, and he was always talking about them to me, about how this guy has a family, and this guy has a baby on the way. Well, I, I could, you know, be their father, really. And I'd have every one of them committed. Have these things lie? You know, as you get older, sometimes people, you, you lose your drive and your passion. It hasn't happened to me, and it certainly hasn't happened to, to Sly. There's a magazine coming out that we're doing called Sly Magazine. I try to instill my, my outlook on life, like Oprah does with her magazine, like Martha Stewart does with her magazine, like, like uh, John Kennedy tried to do with his magazine. To make a big shift in one's career uh, takes, takes a lot of... Uh, Riding with angst. Come on, angst, let's take a little ride. And eventually you get off of angst and it's okay. I mean, it's about what he likes to drink and where he likes to play golf and, you know, what cool guy things that, you know, in his age range, what, you know, what guys want and what their dreams are. So the magazine is about not giving up. It's about uh, not going gently into that good night. It's about kicking and screaming as the years roll on. You go, okay. Take your best shot, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, whatever nature takes away, we're going to put back. We're just, it, it's, it's all about being aggressive and proactive with your life on all, at all levels, at all ages. It's just going to be a lifestyle magazine that's a little, little out of the box. This unending, you know, lust to, to do something bigger and better and uh, he's very much involved and, you know, he gets frustrated like all of us and he, he drives himself pretty hard. Physically probably the toughest person I've ever known in my life. Um, he's at the same time probably what people would be surprised to hear, one of the most sensitive people I've ever known in my life. And definitely one of the smartest people I've ever known in my life. He's very demanding for excellence. Extremely passionate. But the best word of all, Sly's raw. And that rawness came through clearly in Rocky and Rambo. You know, he's like anyone else, he can get moody, he has his times. I don't think it's easy being him. He's never let me down. Um, he's always been funny. He's always, you know, he's been one of the nicest things um, to happen to my life. Heart, um, body, and soul. He is a contradiction. But I want to thank the entire French nation for this incredible honor. And if I died right now, I don't mind because I've already gone to heaven. Well, I think he's charismatic, absolutely. You know, he's a very, he's a big personality and you sort of always know where he is in a room. He's kind and thoughtful. I walked in a restaurant and I saw him sitting there and you see, he had like a, just a glow. I mean, it's just an energy around him. Uh, he was amazing. I, I just thought, uh, God, this guy actually is funny <laughs> and interesting. And, and he actually was listening to what I was saying. And it was, it's a, he was a really incredible person the first time I met him. He was a really generous man and, and he's got a, a really sweet heart. And uh, he's, he's a good friend. He's one of these people that you can just have the best laugh with and, s and send up mercilessly. Hey, where did you get those boots? I said, I found them. Hey, you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I'll... Uh, it... It's a story. I mean, when I see him, I see Rocky. It's like, hey, Rock, how's it going? Hey, your brother. Yo, Adrian! I don't know. <laughs> if I maybe keep chipping away, 
eventually one of these darts that you're throwing in the dark is going to hit a target. And, uh, you know, I, I got very, very fortunate, but that, that's always been my uh, credo. It's like just a lot, a certain portion of the day going after the impossible. But I love him. He's a good man. That's all I got to say. I mean, he's boring. <laughs>